Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mix and apply a hot mud to repair ceiling cracks. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing and painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is add just a little water to a bucket. I like to use a jug, it just makes it easier to pour in. Then you wanna put your hot mud, I'm using a 20 minute USG quick setting mud to do the first coat over the fiberglass mesh tape on the ceiling repairs. I'm using a cordless drill and a paint mixer. You can get those at any big box store and I also have them in my Amazon store. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Basically, it's like baking a cake. You wanna mix it a little thick at first and then start thinning it down. You wanna get all the lumps out. If you mix it too thin, you're gonna have lumps. So keep mixing it and then maybe add a little more water as you go. Once you get it to where you need it, you need to let it sit for one minute. If you read the directions, especially on the USG, it usually tells you to just wait one minute before getting it to the exact consistency that you want. But other hot muds may vary on the instructions. So I just added a little bit of water. I don't want it too soupy. I want it pretty much like you would get out of a bucket of all-purpose joint compound. Using my handy dandy scooper, gonna use a 12 inch stainless steel drywall taping knife and a 14 inch stainless steel mud pan. As you can see, the old tape joints, they were cracking. So I just had to remove those and put the fiberglass mesh tape up. Before I did that, I reattached the ceiling a little bit cause it did have some movement. So a lot of times cracks appear because of movement or tape joints fail because of movement. And then I chipped away any joint compound that was falling off just with a six inch taping knife. So basically you just want to get the mud up there and run a nice smooth pull over it. You want to make sure to get all your fasteners and the entire surface of the repair covered. Like I said, it's a 20 minute mud, so you have about 15 minutes of working time. There's 45 minute mud and also 90 minute mud, depending on how big your repairs are. On this ceiling, there's two chick tape joints that I repaired, so I should be able to go pretty quick. I'm using, a, it's a Werner walk boards, which I just put two of them together for this eight foot ceiling and it I can just walk on those without having to put the stilts on and all that so it just goes really quick no need to put the stilts on I before I put the fiberglass mesh tape in I always like to spray it with uh, kills primer in a can that way everything's gonna stick and adhere good because obviously there was a adhesion problem and that's why everything's coming down Again, I'm just getting the mud up there and I'll come back once I get to probably halfway and then just do a long pull and smooth it all out. I'm also going to be skim coating this ceiling using an all purpose USG joint compound. The homeowner requested not to take the fan down, so I'm just leaving it up there. He said it was old, he's selling the house, he don't wanna to have to replace it. Be sure to check out part one where I put a furring strip in that area you just saw to help secure the ceiling from moving. There was uh, no framing members in that area, so I went ahead and put a furring strip in and replaced the little piece of drywall with the what I had cut out and it just fit perfectly. I'll show you a little trick for that in part one of this series. I am going to skim coat. That'll be in the next video. Screws a little high. I'm just going to add some mud. You 
You want to keep it nice and smooth as possible. That way you don't have any sanding or anything to do. You can just maybe scrape some high ridges off or something like that. I don't like sanding. Maybe you do. Let me know in the comments. So once I do skim coat this ceiling, I'll be doing a skip trowel texture. I will not have to sand the ceiling at all. So stay tuned for the upcoming video where I'll show you how to do the skim coating and the second coat of mud over the two tape joints that I repaired. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, a contractor, painter, handyman. Just kind of curious. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all my latest videos and also see the upcoming skim coating video. I got a lot of skim coating videos simply because it gives you a nice clean surface after repairs or getting rid of ugly tape joints, textures, whatever. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to get alerted whenever I put out a new video. Want to learn how to skim coat using a paint roller? Check out the video at the top of the screen in the card now. There's more of my most popular video links down below in the description. And if you want to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. If you've got a friend that's a contractor or DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching.